Have you ever wondered how to do a Canva presentation to PowerPoint or Canva presentation to Keynote? Essentially, you want to know how to use Canva to create a presentation because you want to know how to design a unique presentation for your business or webinar. Well, in this Canva presentation tutorial, I will show you how to create Keynote themes, PowerPoint themes, and a slide deck using Canva. And don't worry, this presentation tutorial is for beginners and will give you all that you need to create that presentation using only Canva. Now, let's dive in. So the first thing that you need to know on how to make a presentation in Canva is that you need that Canva account and you can get a free account on canva.com. It's very easy to sign up. There's also a paid version, but don't worry because you really don't need that for now. And up until this point, I haven't even had to use the paid version. So uh, you never really have to use a paid version as long as you know, you're, you're using everything, you're optimizing everything and you are uh, somewhat creative. Um, and sometimes you don't even have to be that creative to be honest. So <laughs> let me show you some of the theme options. But before I go ahead and show you the Canva the theme options, let me just quickly show you the Keynote. Now you can design things in Canva and then transfer them to Keynote, but you don't have to. And I'm gonna show you how and what I'm talking about a little bit later. So let's just move Canva over to the side here. And here are some, um, some present some keynote presentation templates. Now, I mean, essentially they are okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. However, they are somewhat limited. Like you can't really choose the proper colors and you know, maybe some you wanna add something extra, but you can't really do that. So again, they're okay and they're doable, but again, they're not all that fancy. So if you wanna get a little fancier, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Canva. Okay, so we are in Canva and it's saying discover templates. So you can use Canva for all kinds of things, flyers, uh, you know, brochures, business cards, but we're just gonna go down here into presentations for this tutorial. And now you're gonna have some preset templates, okay? So um, up here you can see you know, what you want to do. So it'll kind of guide you a little bit more, but I encourage you to really check out um, you know, things that are not necessarily in your field uh, because it might be um, good it might be good color scheme and it might be a good starting off point. So I definitely recommend just kind of looking at everything. So I'm kind of drawn to this one right off the bat. So I'm gonna just select this one for now. I'm gonna say, use this template. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe not, cause you're gonna, you, have, you get this preview and maybe that's not exactly what I want. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm kind of into like the very clean cut, modern minimalist kind of look. So maybe this one, let me have a look real estate. Okay, that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to just go ahead and say use this template. And the thing is, if you don't like the templates, you can kind of use it as a starting off point, but you can always add your own and kind of design your own. So I'm actually going to even show you how to do that. But before I do, let me just kind of show you this template. So everything that you see here, um, where it says Canva and it's kind of a grid, um, you can just drag and drop whatever image you want into that grid section. So you can uh, do your own. And also, if you wanna change any of the colors, you can do that as well. So again, you can just kind of add your own images in here. All right, so let's say I wanted to just add my own. So what I would do is, I would either duplicate the page or I could duplicate, I always like to start off with duplicating the page, but you know what, just to kind of show you guys from scratch, I'm gonna just create a new page. And I'm gonna move this page up. So let's say I wanted this to be kind of my cover page. Okay, so first I'm actually gonna go down here into background, I'm gonna click on that. And right here, it kind of gives you the color palette from um, some things that are already existing um, in your Canva, including the um, presentation that I just pulled up. So 
here is one of the colors, right? So that way you can have matching colors to the rest of your theme. And again, you would always want to start with a theme or a template that kind of has your brand colors. But let's say I wanted to slightly change that. What I would do is I would go into here and then I would kind of either, you know, select from these colors. This is one of my uh, theme colors from my website and um, all my thumbnails and things like that. But let's say I really wanted to just kind of choose a new color. I would pick a color that's a good starting off point. So let's say I wanted it to be a blue, but a slightly different shade of blue. And I'm gonna go into here. Now there's two options. So what you can do is you can kind of drag this around and see which one you like. So you can go darker, brighter, uh, more gray, whatever it is. Or if you know your colors exact numbers exact from your website, what you would do is like you would just type them into here. So let's say I do that. And one of my colors I know, which was easy one, is this EEE -E -E color. And it's kind of like an off white. But let me just make it a little bit more exciting and let me check one of my other, one of my other, I'll go with my pink one, a, a pink one that I really like. Okay, so that's one of my personal pink colors that I have um, on one of my color palettes. So I'm gonna just go with that one for now. Okay, and if I wanted to add some kind of texture or something like that, I can do that. So as you can see, you know, there were some that are free and some that are paid. A lot of these are free. So if you kind of want to add a little bit of that texture, I don't know about the fish. <laughs> and I don't know about the polka dots, but I could just kind of keep going down here and just seeing, you know, what some of the other textures and patterns are. I'm going to keep it kind of basic. Let's say I just, hmm, I don't know about that either. <laughs> All right, what's this? That looks kind of cool. Oh, it's kind of like a building. Okay, so I'm just gonna, instead of using any of the background things, I'm gonna just kind of go ahead and use just a plain um, color for now. But let's say if I did want to use this one, what I could also do is just kind of do um, a bit of an overlay to add that color if I really wanted to. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to make it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna just leave it at this. Okay, so you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to go with just plain. <laughs> okay, this is the last time I'm going to change my mind for now. Okay, so if we go into elements now, what I want to do is just kind of make this less plain. So what I want to do is maybe add a frame. So I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to say see all frames. And again, some of these are paid, some of them are not. The ones that are, um, that you see this kind of, you know, uh, greenery and clouds and things like that, it means that you can drop an image into that. Um, so I might wanna do that, or I might just wanna kinda add a very plain frame. So I'm gonna just go down here, see what's available. Sometimes I don't add a frame, I sometimes just add lines. We just go back into elements. Sometimes I'll even go into shapes. And some of the shapes will actually have frames. Yeah, there we go. So again, just to keep it super simple, I'm gonna add this frame. Okay, so once it's on here, uh, you can just adjust it by literally just clicking on it and dragging it. Okay, if you wanna keep it the exact shape, you would just uh, hold it here. Um, so I'm going to just do this and this, and I'm not really a fan of this color. So every time you want to change the color, all your colors are going to be up here. So you just click on that particular color. And let's say I just want to change it to this kind of off white grayish kind of color. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I can add more elements. So let's say I go back into elements. So all I did was I just clicked on the elements part. And let's say I wanted to kind of really add some funkiness to it so I can go into the stickers. 
A lot of times I will use an arrow sticker. Um, I don't really like the ones that move around, but sometimes that could be, um, it's really eye catching, that's for sure. So let me see if I can see all the arrow stickers. Yeah, see most of these are kind of moving around a lot, which again is great in some cases, but for what I'm trying to do here, it's a little bit too distracting. So I'm just gonna go back into here. Um, and let's see what some of the featured images are. Sometimes these can get really a little too funky, but sometimes they're just nice. So every time you see actually um, a little um, crown here, that's the pro. So you can only get those with the paid version. But again, there's plenty of ones that you can use that are just free. So I'm just gonna go back into elements and I'm gonna say, sometimes even just shapes is great. Let's say I just wanted to add a heart. Let's say I was a love coach and I was doing a, a, co a coaching presentation about love and I added this heart and I made it the same color as the frame and maybe I want to make it transparent. So maybe it's a little too bold. So I'll just kind of make it a little bit less obvious, maybe a little bit more kind of blending into the backdrop. And then let's say I wanted to make a, another heart. So I would just go copy, paste. So I just did that on my keyboard and I would just kind of maybe make another heart. Okay, cool. So that looks pretty nice so far. So again, um, you can just add your own stuff and then you can do a uh, text. So you can add a heading and you can just kind of type in whatever you want. And I'm gonna just delete this for a second because I wanna show you um, there's some really nice combinations like font combinations that they put together for you that are that look really nice together so you can just go through all of those and see which ones kind of are great for what you're doing so again because this is a presentation uh, i might do something like this and i'll just put that in there and then again i'll just pull it to resize it okay and again this color might not be the color that I want so I would just go into the font colors and maybe I'd make it a little bit like that that looks nice and then I'll go into here I'll do the same and that looks much better okay and what am I going to say it's going to be love coach Lisa Love. I'm just making that up. That's not, that's not me. But uh, if we were just kind of again doing the presentation for um, love coaching, that would be it. So that would be my very first slide. So that looks pretty good right now. Um, and then I'm going to go into here and say, okay, I want to, I want to change obviously whatever that says. So all you have to do is literally click on it and double click it and hit delete and you can type in whatever you want. So how to find love, okay? And if you think that that's too big, obviously you can change it just by going up here and you can make it size 21, which is way too small. Um, let's go with 36, okay, that looks good. And you can always change the font as well by clicking over here and you can see all the fonts that are free, all the free fonts. Um, are the ones that don't have the little crown beside it. Anything with the crown, you do have to do a paid account. It's really not overly expensive if you really want to, and it's a monthly and you can cancel anytime. But um, again, you can really get away with just using all the free stuff. So um, I'm gonna just go for this one or this one. Here I go again. There's so many options, it's so hard to decide. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, let's just go for this one. Okay, so um, now you have, um, you know, your first slide and let's say you want to add one of your own images. So you would um, either go to photos, right? And you can search for love. If this was a love presentation, so you can say love. And up here you have, you know, hearts, couples, and love, friends. And again, all of these are uh, mostly free. 
Some of them are paid. So you would find an image that you felt really worked with your presentation and you would just drag and drop it. And if it's not aligning properly, you just double click it. And then when you, once you've double clicked it and you see these four way arrows, you just drag it to where you want it. So obviously uh, with these blue lines, um, you keep whatever's between the blue lines and that's gonna be showing. So once you click off of that image, you, that is nicely centered, okay? Now let's say you wanted to use your own image. All you have to do is go to uploads and here are some previously uploaded things from uh, that I've uploaded myself. So um, let's say I just wanted to use an image of myself here. I would just drag it and drop it. And again, move it over a little bit just so it's properly centered. And that's that. And to upload an image or video, you just click on here and it's going to take you to where you wanna upload it from. So you can upload it from Instagram, your Dropbox, um, your device. And that's it. So it's very, very straightforward. So you can do a combination of images that um, you found on Canva or you can use your own images. So this is so great because you can't really do this in Keynote. So this is why I prefer doing things in Canva. And there are so many different images to choose from, right? And you can even say couple and see what there is for a couple. And all of these images are free for you to use, okay? So there's no copyright issues or anything like that. So I just wanna show you an actual presentation that I designed for myself uh, using Canva. So all I did was I went into um, the same thing with the templates. I found this particular template that I found worked really well with what I was doing. And then I just kind of added my own images and elements and I even you know, added an image of myself popping out of the uh, laptop here. And then I went down here. Again, you can tell everything is nicely branded. And I even added this uh, for soft selling just to kind of add a little bit more of a personal touch. And you can do that for every slide if you want. And you know, this was basically just from that template that I used and I just kind of put my own um, words in there and I added my own images. And, and again, so on and so forth. So I literally just created this. Um, it did take, you know, a couple of hours, but um, as it always does, but once you create that presentation, you can use it over and over. Now, the other thing that um, you can do is you can download this presentation and then copy and paste each of these slides into Keynote. But the other thing that you can do is literally present it right from Canva. So you just go up here in the top right hand corner and you would click, so uh, the standard presentation mode is going to take up the whole screen. So I'm going to just show you that. Okay, so you can do this, um, you know, if you have a projector and you're using this to present live. Um, but if you wanted to use it uh, presenting on Zoom, I actually recently did a Zoom tutorial on how to do this on Zoom so that it doesn't take over your whole screen. And I will put a link to that video um, in the end screen so you can see how to do that. But essentially, I'm going to just hit escape here. So that is um, one of the presentation options. The other presentation option, which the one that I uh, showed you guys in my other video that I released about a week ago, is this one. Okay. So we're not going to enter full screen mode. This is going to be what is being presented. And then you can see over here your slides underneath, right? Um, so yeah, anyways, I do have another video on, you know, how to present this using Zoom. So I will just make sure you guys uh, see that. And I think that is it for now. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and now you can look super professional in your slides. And if you're a small business owner, uh, make sure you check out my other videos on marketing and sales. I do release new videos every single week. I'm doing two videos a week right now, uh, but there'll definitely be a new video released every single week. So you don't want to miss out. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you're always notified when a new video comes out. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will be happy to answer them. All right, bye for now.